this is Liz, who I actually went to school with, didn't I, Liz? We sure did. Many moons ago. Yes. I am uh, 46, so that means it was like 30 years yeah. ago. I've been going around telling everybody that I am 42, oh. but I'm actually not. <laughs> Because I was born 1980, you think it would be a clue. So 2024, I will be 44. Oh, young, oh. but I don't feel 44, Jodie, which is fine. No, exactly, which is what it's all about, and which is why we're doing this 30 days because we want to continue to feel young, young uh, internally and externally, don't we? We sure do. So. Before you came on, I've just been explaining to everybody, this is not about weight loss. You know, you're not doing my lose 30 pounds in 30 yeah. days. This is actually about feeling good and yeah. gut health. Do you want to say a little bit about you, maybe your health challenges, your your struggles that you, you have? Yeah. yeah, so I had um, appendicitis when I was 16 and the doctors found out that I had Crohn's disease so ever since i was 16 i've always struggled with my gut health my skin my hair absolutely everything and i've never been able to feel well with it i have to really be careful with what foods i have to take eat because any spicy foods it will just upset my gut and then it's just a an effect if your gut goes wrong everything else goes wrong um, so that was me from when I was 16 and then also I have undiagnosed endometriosis so again more tummy troubles but I just want to feel gut health and I want to feel healthy around my whole body and I've always said because I'm a holistic therapist I always believe your health starts from your gut it's always mind body and soul so you start from your gut you make your tummy feel better and everything else feels better. Now, with regards to, first of all, you do reflexology, massage. Tell, tell everyone what you do. So I am a fully qualified holistic therapist. So I do aromatherapy. I do massage, full body massage, facials, reflexology. And it's all about, like I said before, mind body and soul it helps relax it helps unwind it de-stresses it's also helps detox in your body and i can guarantee you as jody has been one of my clients before <laughs> one session with me will change your life forever and i can put my hands up to say that's that's true and when when I had my reflexology, I did fall asleep at one point. You said that was normal, yes, yeah. didn't you? I have had people snore, I've had people <laughs> wide awake, I've had people chat all the way through, and I've had people feel very anxious and not say anything and have given me the best review ever. Yeah. And that's just by the touch of your feet. So your feet alone, I could tell areas of where you had trouble which you've never told me before because we've never gone in in depth and we've never really had a um, good chat and then when i did your feet i knew areas where you needed help would you like to share with them my de deepest darkest, darkest secrets secret. <laughs> jody you have no darkest secrets you are so open and honest and i absolutely love you for it the so i only found out so from crystallization from your feet I knew that you had a little bit of trouble with your tummy. So everything else yeah. felt good, but it was just the area of your stomach. It just felt like crystallization. So that's where I knew you needed a little bit more work is in help heal and mend. Yeah. So I, I find it fascinating. And you didn't feel my broken heart my love my need for my loving partner that at that time was your, that was rock hard jody your cerebral plexus was hard as anything so you needed to de-stress a little bit but i would love to do your feet again because then your feet will be different and your feet will tell me a different story and since i 
I've met you, you know, I've now become engaged. So hopefully you should feel my, my hard, my hard heart <laughs> is softer now yes. and full of love, yes. maybe. You are a, you are a brother from another mother, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> and you've done reflexology on my mum, so that's yes, good. Yes, which I absolutely love. Mummy number two. Anyway, back to you. Me. So... So this is what it's all about. For anybody that doesn't know Crohn's disease, what does this actually mean on a daily basis? What sort of symptoms do you have to put up with or try and control? So it will be um, pain. In, so for me, I'm very, very lucky where I don't have to take a lot of medication. Yeah. I have to manage it by a diet. So I can't have any spicy foods. I cannot touch prawns. If I touch prawns or mushrooms, I will be in excruciating pain the day after. And it's just easier not to eat them. It's easier not to eat spicy foods because it feels like my gut is being rotted from the inside. Yeah. I also have trouble with fatigue a lot of the times. I feel tired for no apparent reason. And if I eat too much gluten, too much wheat. Again, it bloats me. My belly will be so uncomfortable. I just, I know what not to eat. So touch wood, I've not had a, a spout for a couple of weeks, but I know how to manage my Crohn's with food. And I have got medication in the cupboard, but I wish to not take it because I want to yeah. do it the natural way. Um, so I have lotions and potions at home. So if I feel <laughs> like I've got a flare up, I just mix a little concoction. So that's and, the Crohn's. And in the past, you've done some of my eating plans before. And what happened? So I did a 30 day and it was brilliant because I was eating fresh fruit, fresh foods. And I did not have any gut ache. I didn't. I felt good about myself, and I didn't feel tired. I didn't feel. I wasn't ill, but I just. I felt better about myself. Yeah. Because I think the biggest mi misconception with gut health <laughs> is uh, a lot of people think they need to go to easy digestible foods like white bread white pasta you know those things that when you're ill that your body seems to accept easily but it's actually the other way around because whenever you have any sort of gut problems it's actually the fiber and the natural foods that are actually going to feed the good bacteria and help you digest those foods yeah there's always a lot of people where they think um oh i'll go on a a, a wheat free diet or i'll have a gluten free diet or um, I'll try a keto diet. It's not about dieting as in people think diet to lose weight. It's a diet yeah. to control your tummy and to, it's like you have your good bacteria, you have your bad bacteria. Loads of people think if you eat your bad bacteria, if you've got bad bacteria, you're, it's going to affect everything. But you need yeah. to counteract the good and the bad. So you've got to have the right diet for everything. Which is the same with cholesterol, the same with uh, blood glucose. You know, everything has got to be yin and yang and the good and the bad. And, you know, just live your life yeah. as well. That's the other big thing is yeah. balance. So in an ideal world, what I would love to do with Liz is to get her some nice prebiotic foods, get her some probiotic foods, uh, get her enough fibre, get enough uh, protein. Now, the problem with Liz and everybody else out there, we have something called a job and we have something called kids and a family. Yeah. So trying to balance at the cost as well, all these things and with a real life, it's difficult. So this is why my 30 day plan is all about using products and supplements to basically quick fix and shortcut all these issues. Um, now you have tried the protein powder before, have, haven't you? Yes, I've tried um, some samples of the chocolate and I have got some samples of the vanilla and they are they're nice because they're easy to have easy one sachet you just pour it straight in and i've had no trouble whatsoever with um reacting to my tummy so i know i can take them and i feel good about them yeah 
So the, the, the 30 day plan is to have two protein shakes a day. So you're having 48 grams of protein as well as all the good nutrients in there. You're having one gut health stick. Now, because you're, you need gut health more than everybody else, there's more an advanced set than this where you get the greens, the collagen and the gut health stick. So you'll be having the equivalent of this. Yeah. Uh, and then the other thing that we, you'll be having, because we've just talked about it in your private one-to-one, -one, is some of these fizz sticks. Now, all this is, is some B vitamins, a little bit of fruit flavour without uh, sweeteners. And this is going to give you that kind of the caffeine boost that tea, coffee, sugary drinks and sparkling drinks would give you, but in a very natural way that's not going to disturb your gut. So this is the 30-day plan. Now, because you don't need to lose 30 pounds in the next 30 days <laughs> no <laughs> you're, you're also going to be having snacks on lots you. of snacks i love snacking because when i snack the boys see that we're snacking as well so it's healthy snacks and if you are feeling a little bit peckish i always say to the boys go grab a snack help yourself yeah. plenty yeah. of apples bananas raisins we have got a tub already pre-made on the side so instead of going for the chocolate bar you can either go for some nice berries or yeah. we've got carrot sticks as well so I've, I've learned in the past by someone that a carrot has got the same things as a chocolate bar but you get a better feeling when you eat a carrot stick than a chocolate uh, I'm not sure people would agree with you that they feel better. I know. Once in, a, once in a blue moon, you can have a chocolate bar, but yeah, that's naughty. <laughs> but yeah, so they, they, when, again, when we did our private call earlier, you were very um, wary of having too many calories or too many snacks. But I actually said the other way, didn't I? Yeah. And I said, have as many snacks as you like. And this plan, especially for you, is just about nourishing you. And it's all about the food quality rather than the quantity, which is for other people that have issues with weight. Yeah, I, was, I thought you had to have a set routine. And I thought, you know, you can't go over... But snacking, it's it's going to be the way. Yeah. So let me go through the snack list and you tell me what these things that you like. So nuts and seeds, as long as they're unsalted and unroasted. Yeah, I've got loads of those. Berries, apples or coconut. We have um, dried coconut. We've got coconut slices and I've also got coconut milk as well. Okay um next on the list is eggs enamame beans and olives i lo we love eggs i try and get me and the boys to eat so many eggs but uh, i don't think school will like that when you boil an egg <laughs> take that to school boys <laughs> right next is uh chicken turkey and beef and again this can just be snacks of those meat yeah i've brought bought um from aldi the frozen um pieces of chicken so that they can keep longer in the freezer and then when you want one you defrost it you cook it and you get you you can have it with whatever you want but i like to eat chicken strips so i've always, okay, always got some in the fridge uh what about fish and seafood do you snack on prawns um so no so prawns is a no for my crohn's disease Oh yeah, sorry. So, um, but fish, you know, I can eat cod, but I always think I wouldn't snack on that. I would maybe make it as like a meal, um, cod and yeah. salad. But again, if you wanted to have that instead of a shake one day, that's perfectly fine to have. So again, just what fits in with you. Uh, you don't need to be too rigid on having, uh, you know, the set plan like the others would who are needing the calorie control yeah. next on the list is chickpeas have you ever roasted any with paprika no um i've seen loads of people do it but i've never jumped to have a go so this might be something fun that the kids might like as well i will put that on my list the next <laughs> time i go shopping have you seen roasted seaweed before as a I snack i love it I, yeah, so, it's so nice. Harry, 
Ariana Grande made it famous because that's she said that was her favorite snack, but it's full of magnesium, so it is quite expensive, but definitely worth yeah. having a bit of uh, seaweed once a week. And it's got your natural salts in as well, it just tastes really nice. Yeah, so delicious. Um, root vegetable crisps. Yeah. Could you see yourself making we, some of those? Yeah, I, my conversation with the boys the other day was because Billy has got a little greenhouse in the garden, so we're growing our own fruit and vegetables. We saw somebody make their own crisps. So our next gadget that we'll, we'll be buying off Amazon will be a potato slicer so we can make our own. Oh, nice. So we need to put a link in the bio, Jodie. Okay, oh, yeah. That we're buying. <laughs> Yes, we'll put links in the comments of this video. Right, next, could you see yourself making some protein balls out of yes, the protein yes, powder? Yes, I would love to. I went, um, I've had some before and they tasted really nice. So yeah. I, I can see in the PDF that you have got, there's a link so that it goes straight to a recipe book. So then you go on there and you can see, I had a quick look yesterday and the recipes yeah. are amazing they're so easy to do and again it's especially getting the boys... what do you, do you think the boys would like the mug cake yes so which it... is basically a, a scoop of protein some egg and you microwave it and then if you want to have custard on your mug cake then all you need to do is use the vanilla protein and mix that up to make it into like a, a uh, custardy sauce, which is amazing. Oh, that's it. It's, it's oh yes, yes, please, Jody. I'll be doing that <laughs> later. And, and then again, just because you you don't need to worry about calories, you can actually make your protein shakes into real smoothies. So you can add nuts, you can add fruit, you can add flavors to make them taste amazing. You can add your almond yeah. milk as well. So. You know, don't be bored, Liz. Just feel, just think about you feeding your gut all these delicious nutrients. Does that sound good? It's making it more experimental to make it more fun. So it's yeah. not just having a protein shake. It's what you can, like you say, you can cook with it. You can make pancakes with it. So it's, you're eating it in different ways. Yeah. Now, the good thing about all these foods that I've talked about and all the products is you're avoiding the six things that cause inflammation in your gut. Yeah. So I'm going to read out those six things yeah. and you just let me know if you think uh, they're going to be a challenge to give up for the next 30 okay. days. Okay. Artificial sweeteners, alcohol, coffee, processed dairy, which is milk, yogurt and cheese, gluten and soy. So those are the six so things that's going to be quite easy so um i don't have artificial sweeteners at home so i have sugar um, right when i go to my partner's house he's now got sugar so he used to have sweeteners all the time so that's fine for that i can easily knock off alcohol i don't great i don't need any because we're, we're a bunch of fun already so who needs a drop of alcohol <laughs> Um, Correct answer. I don't drink coffee because coffee gives me migraines. Perfect. So, I don't Perfect. Watch that. Good. so um, what we spoke about earlier on is in tea, I have got herbal teas. So I will be able to have fruit teas and herbal teas. Um, what about green tea? Is that a no? Because that's it's got caffeine in. Yeah, it's got caffeine in as well. So we avoid anything with caffeine okay. in. So I'll go for fruit teas. It's dairy. The next one was dairy. I can, I can slowly stop that. So not in the cups of tea. Uh, I can definitely knock out wheat and gluten because I do that quite a bit anyway. Yeah. And then, it, yeah, I can think of it's not a problem. Soy is just things like soy sauce and soya milk and um, tofu, stuff like that. Yeah. So they're very highly yeah. processed. So I'll be able to say no to them. And um, the two big ones, especially for you, is the uh, the dairy and the gluten. Yeah. So just trying to find different things. I like to think wherever you're going to have cheese, have avocado, because it's got that same kind of soft 
texture, the wet texture, and it's full of flavour as well. So that's what I would say to you. Obviously, don't be putting avocado in your cups of oh, tea. Oh, no, that might, but... <laughs> might curdle. <laughs> but you've got your almond milk for that. Um, and obviously, things like yoghurt. Have you ever had the coconut collab yoghurt, which is dairy-free? Yes amazing so again that's that's a nice alternative so sometimes it's not about eliminating things it's just about replacing them with a much cleaner product yeah. and that's very more very much long-term solution because you're still having something because human beings as you know we are resistant to change so just swapping it for something is far easier than completely cutting it out it's tweaking it isn't it give it a little tweak yeah. tweak for the better right so i think that's it for now have you got any questions uh, no i feel super excited to do it because i know that you're going to be on my case and you are going to see <laughs> if i fall you will be telling me straight away and um, we'll be doing this weekly live every tuesday morning at 10 30 so again uh, we can share your amazing progress and then next week you might be able to see my beautiful face yes we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll work we'll work our technical mallet magic uh backstage and we'll make sure we can see the lovely lizzie but they can see your photo that's for beautiful. now so that that is me but um <laughs> that's my little ai <laughs> fabulous right we'll see you next week then liz thank you so much all right thank Enjoy you the rest bye of for your now day. bye bye and you too